Hi, my name is Noelle. I am a graphic designer and illustrator located in Alberta, Canada. And for today's video, I'm going to be following a Skillshare class by Marie Noelle Worum. She's an artist and illustrator. This is not a sponsored video, but I do have an affiliate link down below in the description if you want to try either a month free of Skillshare or want to get 30% off an annual membership. Today the class I'm going to do is called A Fun and New Perspective to Still Life Painting in Watercolor. With this class you can use watercolor or gouache or acrylic or any medium really. I just decided to go with the watercolor. Today I am using my White Knights watercolor set by St. Petersburg. It's a little more on the pricey side, but it does have a lot of beautiful pigmentation and I, this is my favorite watercolor set by far that I've tried. And it also comes with this little detachable palette. I won't be using that today. Today I'll be using this flower palette to be mixing my colors. But this is pretty handy. I do use this when I'm more of like on the go. I also use the back of this to tape all of the little casings of the watercolor names so then I could remember what they were just in case anything happened to my swatch sheet which I also wrote on the back what the watercolor names were but I don't know just a little tip if you want to try and keep the packaging to remember what color is what and what name it is in case anything happens to your swatch sheet. So today I'll be using this Fabriano Studio watercolor. It's cold pressed so it does have a nice texture to it and it's 25% cotton. Uh, 140 pounds, it's 9 by 12. It's acid free, it's pretty affordable, and I really like to work with it. Brushes I'll be using are all Princeton Umbra brushes. This will be the first time I'm actually using these brushes, except for the number 10. I use this in my Tropical Bones watercolor, which will be linked up in the corner there if you want to watch that. I'll have affiliate links to all of the items that I'm using today in the description down below if you're interested in purchasing any. And my subject today will be this African Violet. If you're not so great with plants but kind of want to try, I suggest getting an African Violet. Pretty easy to take care of. So the class says to have a plant or something you can use for reference but with a top view. And I thought this one had a lot of interesting leaves and everything from the top. It's been a hot minute since I've used traditional brushes to paint a watercolor painting. Typically I use these Kuratake and Sakura watercolor water brushes. It'll be interesting to see how it goes today with using traditional brushes. Without further ado, let's get painting. So far I really enjoyed the course. It was not very long, it was like a little over 20 minutes or something like that. It was a lot of fun. It did push me to actually create something, which was nice. I also don't do a lot of floral or botanical art, so it was really fun and interesting to dabble in that subject. And I think this is the first time I've ever used watercolor without a sketch first. So that was also pretty freeing. I've never done that really before. I've always had a plan and had a, had a light sketch underneath and then moved forward. So that was a little bit of anxiety of not knowing how things were going to go. But at the same time, it was really relaxing to just see what was going to happen and to just play around. It was a fun experiment. So I do recommend checking out that class. Again, it was by Marie Noelle Worm. What I love about Skillshare too is some of the classes that are longer, all of the classes are broken up into like little modules. So for somebody like me who has ADHD and has a hard time sitting still for a long time, it really, really helps. Or if you want to kind of jump ahead or preview some steps, it really, it makes it really easy and efficient. And again, I have a couple of affiliate links down below so you can try Skillshare for a month for free or you can get 30% off an annual membership. This is not sponsored by Skillshare at all. I just really enjoy their service. I've been using the platform for I think three going on four years now and it just has a lot of really good classes. If you're ever feeling uninspired or just don't know what to do or what to draw, it's so great to be able to scroll through some options to maybe challenge yourself or to try a new medium or to just try something new. It really can help spark that inspiration and get you motivated to get going because if you just sit still and wait for something to happen and wait for inspiration you're never gonna find it it always finds you when you're moving and always finds you when you're active because if you're not active you're not feeding your creative monster and you're not pushing your brain to do anything so you're starting to take steps forward which is a lot more productive than staying stagnant in one place and 
and I hope you have fun experimenting and trying something new. And remember, the adventure awaits, so let's create! Thanks for watching. Bye.